Yeah, and you've hit five wood. Five wood. Followed by a three iron, a five wood, and a three iron. Yeah. How long is this golf course? You couldn't pay enough money to play on a day like today, could you, around here? Not around this golf course. Lickia Lynx, welcome to the channel. It's a break par series. James is first time doing break par with me. And we are going to put it to the test today because we've got something special, haven't we? This is just outrageous. Unbelievable. Lickia Lynx, which is right on the Mediterranean here. And we are going off the back tees today. We're going off the black tees, which yardage wise, what have we got? 7,600 yards, 6, 000, just over 6,900 meters. It's outrageous. Unbelievable. Well, the actual course rating, it's a par 73. Par 73, yeah. Course rating? 78. So it's kind of one of those situations where if things do go wrong, it could turn into a break 80 series pretty quickly. I was thinking break 90 <laughs> if the wind gets up. Fantastic day. Hope you enjoy this. Let's head over to the first tee. First hole, 427 metres, 480. 480 off this back tee. Waste bunker down the right hand side, a couple of bunkers up the left. Kind of like the water tower is where the green is over the back of there. And um, James on the tee. Have a good day. Not my line, James. Oh. Try and hug the left a little bit more. Yeah, it's not that like moss in the distance. 229 I've got. That's the first head cover coming off again. Actually, 194 to the front pin looks like it's sort of black left. I've got five wood. I think this will be the first of many five woods today. Go a bit. Great shot. That good. Opening birdie. Yeah, just caught the trap at 280 here. Um, yeah, it's quite narrow down the right. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? Flick it out? Yeah, just going to hit a wedge out. I've got are no... You, so are you trying to get to a certain yardage now? Yeah. Yeah, roughly around 100. 100, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, I think you'll take that down. Is that good? Uh, very good, yeah. So I've got 97 off a down slope, so greens are relatively firm, first bounce, so I'm going to try and land this around 90 with a flat flight and just get a first hop forward. So strolling down the first hole, me and Jimbo having a little chat there about my, um, and I've been talking about this for like a few weeks now on the channel about feeling anxious and nervous and stuff like that and there's always that added added pressure of trying to play in something like this where you're obviously got lots of people watching like in some ways today is like you you take the pressure off because it's so long <laughs> i'm not expecting anything spectacular well you've just opened up with a drive and a five, five to about yeah I, I know i know i know but that, that the emotions inside are very different to the, the <laughs> result of that but like you said pick a target and hit it target react that's all target you, react. That's all you can do. And that is all I'm going to do today now. Target react. Really went that way, didn't it? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit quicker than the last Funny. couple of days. Yeah, do you know what? I think they get. I think they get a little quick. I think they're quick in the morning when they cut them or iron them. Yeah. And then as the day goes on, I think they just obviously grow, don't they? Oh, I just pushed them out. Just hung high. Oh. Very good fall there. Take the fall. Oh my god. That snaps left, yeah. Alright, Kurt. Alright. How are you getting on? Good. The second hole, par five. A little dog leg round from right to left off the tee, but then it sort of straightens up a bit. Big dip down, but 
Not sure we can get there today with the run off this back tee. 480 metres, so a uh, good opportunity for get one back hopefully. Get down that little shoot down there this morning. Really Even you. About 70 yards back from where we played it on the What did you hit in here yesterday? Uh, nine iron. Get down. Fine. Short, Absolutely fine, I think. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Just chatting about your start there. Yeah, just saying it down with the sort of bigger golf courses, um, you know, when you've got bunkers placed at 290, 300, you know, you slightly leak your tee shot. It's literally caught the left edge of the, the bunker. You're wedging it out, you hit an okay wedge on, pretty good first putt, second putt snaps across the hole. Suddenly you've walked off with six and you don't feel like you've done much wrong, but when the tee's sort of 45, 50 up, you're playing the hole at 420, yeah. that bunker's not in play, not you're flicking thought. in a wedge with your second shot, and you know, that's where you know, the bigger golf courses make a huge difference. You know, when you're looking at the sort of tour level distance, seven fives are a monster of a course, but yeah. when you're playing courses of 6'3", six, 6'4", six, they are completely different tests of golf. Yeah, absolutely right. Camber of this fairway will just kick you away that way if you get it slightly wrong, you know. Got 260. Got five iron, just to kind of there's a bit of trouble down the right if I remember. Get that. How are we doing Kurt? Alright? Great. Well, this hole's slightly different to yesterday. What do you got? Two, you two said nine iron? Two sixteen I've got. You said nine iron yesterday? So yeah. And today? Two sixteen. Four iron. on the edge of the What an island that is. It's a gem, isn't it? Slightly quicker that green, and that's coming back down that, that hole. A bit of amount of smoke. This is a little dribbler, I think. Yeah, front door dropper. Pretty quick. Yeah. Great right, putt. Yeah, lovely fall, Dan. Well done. The door dropper. Lovely fall. Thank you. quick one for the viewers when you're looking at a lie like this so far above your feet all I'm trying to think about here I'm aiming 12 to 15 foot right and I'm making sure that I turn with the, the slope I see a lot of people dig their club in because they're trying to hit on the kind of side of the slope that way the clubs going into the ground so you've got to actually make sure you turn the body and if you look at that the loft points so far left because the ball is above the feet so if you look at that tee peg where it's pointing compared to normally there's your target Got to be aiming about 15 foot right of the target. Yeah, and, and move with the slope. Move with the slope, um, yeah. It. Absolutely right. Okay, third hole, 435 yards. Meters. Oh yeah, meters, meters. sorry, meters. Um, waste bunker all the way down the right hand side. A little tree at about 255 out, all sort of dog-legging around from left to right. Properly tough, tough hole. Driver, Jim, uh, Yeah, it's going to be driver all day long. All day. We haven't got any rockets we can put in the back of them, have we? No, we should have gone to the gym, I think. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work then. Run it. You spend all day along the ground. What a different golf course this is today. Absolutely amazing. 
Like we were hitting, I hit five with Downey off the yellow tees or gold tee yesterday, and uh, just to sort of not go too far. Whereas now I can't even can't even reach the trap. It's saying 190 middle, 180 front. Just got to get the right line here. Three iron. It's almost gone in. What? It's almost gone in. <laughs> That's, an unbelievable That's what you like to hear when you can't see the ball. I'm getting sick of that. <laughs> it's literally almost gone in. It's ended up on the mound, just on the back of the green there. Has it? From my angle, it almost went in. So I've got 172. 172? What you got? Uphill into the draft. Well, I feel like 8 iron's going to struggle, so I'm going to hit 7. Yeah. And I'm Do quite... anything with it? Not really. Just trying to hit a quiet one. Yeah. Come on back. Come on back. You'll be struggling out there. Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm getting with these irons. Not sure I'm liking this pin position too much. Okay. That's really good. Really good. Good pace, Dan. It's gone sideways off that ridge. Pretty straight, if anything, right half. Yeah. Got to keep the pace up, I found. Yeah. Quite snaggy, so I think it's short and patch, you've got to really yeah. bash them. Right, par three, beautiful backdrop out towards the med. Absolutely stunning. Really, really um, undulating green complexion as well. And then bunker down the right hand side, just, just trying to hit target from 225 from here is just a oh, big challenge. But the green is such a small target. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. it's this green is kind of I would say it's designed for like a wedge or a nine iron. Yeah. Not a what have you got? I've got a four iron, but four iron. It's, um, I'm not sure whether that's going to be enough for it's slight into the breeze. Yeah. yeah. Two iron feels like it's going to be a bit too much. So yeah. I'm going to try Coming and step on flat. this a little bit. You kind of want some height on it, don't you? Oh, I love it. So good. Right on it. Right on the flag. Well, I think it's probably going to be 25 foot short, but I would take that all day long. Five foot it isn't. Is that, is that wood into a par three? Yeah. Just setting the, setting the tone for the day, you know. After events last week, I'm not going to be as cool as Tiger. <laughs> no, <laughs> please don't. Great swing down. Go. Yeah. Should chase up with that flight. Yeah, no, that's right up there. Great shot. Right, three holes in. Scores on the doors. Level par for me, which I 100% would have taken after first three holes. However, feeling a little down after the three putt. Well, I could call it a three putt on the last. And you're one over. One over, yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like I did that much wrong at the first to make double and yeah. then. Yeah, just feel like I'm struggling with the iron play a little bit, but... Well, you've just changed your irons, haven't you, so... Yeah, new irons in the bag this week. It always takes um, a bit of time to get used to them. Yeah, yeah, they're not feeling 100% comfortable yet. What's frustrating, I suppose, for you is that you just, when you replaced your irons, you wanted to get them like for like for what you previously had. Yeah. And then, I suppose, moving from one manufacturer to another manufacturer, even though Joe the Pro has worked his magic to try and get them as close as he can to what you had, there's always going to be some slight differences, isn't there? Yeah, there's different standards between manufacturers, and certainly for me, you know, I feel these new irons a lot heavier in the head, okay. which is not a feel I've ever had before, no. so something I'm definitely going to have to look at when I get home. Yeah, 100% you will. Absolutely right, because confidence levels drop, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still driving it as well as I 
sort of can really. Great so. message there though, isn't it? You know, it, when people change their irons, just be mindful of what you've currently got, you know? And um, if you like what you've got, you know, try not to maybe veer away too far. So many players I've seen over the years just gone back to old irons. Hence me, I've got blades back in the bag. Wow, I'm just going to stop here. Yeah. Down there. What the view? Some, some shot you've Great in view there. In yeah, there. the view yeah. of your ball, you <laughs> another five wood to about six feet. It's unbelievable. It never, never lets me down. This is like playing with Gary Wilson home back in the day. <laughs> just get Dan's pitch mark here, look. Just chased out nicely to the back of the green. The only problem with this course is you get a lot of 70, 80 foot putts, and uh, as you can see, the greens aren't overly flat. Oh, wow. I didn't want to come back. Good putt. Oh, I didn't want to come back. Very good three nonetheless. Okay, again, man. Jump. Yeah, I've had a few of those over the last couple of days. All right, fifth hole, 422 meters uphill. 470 yards uphill. 470 yards uphill. Very undulating fairway, bunker down the left hand side, um, kind of a thin narrow green when you get up there but all running uphill so playing just that little bit longer again. Beautiful hole again. Bomber. I think that's carried 300 up yeah. there. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good there, Dan. Just the right side. Yeah. Fine. Just had a little uh, lesson on the tee there, Jimbo, just trying to reinforce things that we've talked about. Hit, hit, I just hit another ball just to just to get a feel of what I'm trying to do. So that is mind like mind blowing for me because I see it so much in amateur golfers, but yeah. I feel like pros very rarely talk about it. Yeah. So I played with Dan the other day. He played lovely. You know, he made an eagle, four birdies, um, hit it very nicely. But it's noticeable today being out here off the tee. His ball flight is a lot lower. It's like a squeezy fade yeah. and. You know what I've talked to him about doing is you know teeing it up and you know really giving it a good hit. So I stand on the tee and I don't really think about much apart from hitting it as hard as I can. And I've got so much confidence of just doing that. Yeah. But Dan has a fear of just this block right, and you know I want him to show you his two tee shots in a minute because his first one was his normal sort of gaming sort of afraid fear tee shot. Yeah. His second one was an absolute high bomb and. You know, with a draw, two, two different golfers. Yeah. Um, you know, there's 40, close to 40 yards between the two shots, and yeah. you know he's left here now into this monster par four with probably a three iron, where he might be going in with a six iron off his second Seven tee iron. shot, which makes such a big difference. Of course it does. Over a, over a, over a pattern of holes or even rounds of golf, you're going in with three iron every time compared to six iron or seven iron. You know, the, the re reality is that you're going to get it closer. But More I feel often. like you just have to pick your target, yeah. hit it with as much conviction as possible, and if it doesn't go where it doesn't go, then you know that's just golf. human error, golf. Yeah. But what you can't be doing is hitting Fearing a shot, it. protecting you know, a potential miss, and then making the game so much tougher. That's, yes. that's my scenario on yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. And there you go. There's my tee shot where I've got it to the game ball, and that's where James is my second shot. Managed to get up to there, so it's got to be 30 metres. Three clubs less. Yeah, it's 211. 211 uphill, three iron. And a good one at that. Looks on it from here. Yep. Nope, dead on target, whether it's short it's or not. Short. Straight at the flag, it's just short on the upslope. Yeah. Got 155. Um, uphill slightly helping I'm really gonna try and step on a nine iron. I think if I try and hit a foot soft eight it's just gonna yeah. get that hop forward so 
But the difference though, 9 iron to 3 iron. What to do here? Do I bump something in or flick something up? No green to work with if I flick something up. Can I use the backstop a bit? Phil Mickelson. Yeah. Does it, do you think it comes back off that shell? That's what I had in my mind, like a little 9 iron or something. And then let it skip forward and up. A little 9 iron skip. I'm going to go with a 7 iron because I never like to land it on an upslope. I like if I can run it run it along and I much prefer to run it than than bounce it in. Yeah I love that. Uh, wow. Here all day James. <coughs> wow. I'm here all day. I'm glad I'm not playing you a match play today Dan, that's all I'll say. So you're level level par, yeah? No, one under. One under. Minus one. Yeah. And you've hit five wood. Five wood. Par five. Par five, it's five iron to lay on. Followed by a three iron, a five wood, and a three iron. Yeah. Just how long is this golf course? Yeah, really long. Oh, so what a day. So this would be for a half in match play, is that correct? <coughs> this is for a half in match play, yes. That's just not done anything, James. I'm just seeing a massive Slope, slope there. there, yeah. It's just not gone at all. Yeah. Sixth hole, par five. Little small, little subtle dog leg round from right to left. It's a beast at 560 yards. Waste bunker wraps all the way down the left hand side. A few bunkers up the right again when you get further up there, but. And then quite a, a narrow, kind of not such a deep green. So good, good par five. Get five seven through the back of the green. Uh, bombs away. Good out of the heel, but it'll work. Yeah, it should just kick on the edge of the fairway from there. Yeah. Okay, come on then. <coughs> Pick that target. Clear up, feel the high point. There's a much better flight. Yeah. I know it was a little bit maybe toey, but it's toey. Yeah. Did you say 272 right? front? No, 272 flag I've got from over there. So you've got about 280, 285. So. That is slightly helping though, isn't it? Yeah, I think especially if you're down so there. If you can get one 15, 240 with a bit of uh, 230, 240 with a bit of run, you could stop that out there. Straight in the face of the fairway trap. Yeah. 272 flag. Yeah. Not the easiest bunker shot in town. 87 yards. Just got to clip it off the top. 58 degree, clip it. Didn't need much more coat, did it? Yeah, lovely. Lovely shot, James. Thanks. Lovely, jubbly. Uh, I would like to do something similar, to be honest, Kurt, isn't that? Get them all down. Don't hit that slope. got to throw it so much further than Comps up par fives, doesn't he? What you gotta do? Got to. Right, 
I like that I had to Still a six, man. Yeah. Bogey and par fives is a no no. Yeah, you can't afford that when you've hit the fairway. No way. Absolutely no way. Seventh hole, 336 metres, 372 yards to the back of the green. Water all the way down the left-hand side. We went off the yellow tee yesterday and I, I actually got it. You could knock it on there, carry everything. But today, it's, uh, it's driver laying up into the fairway, keeping it away from the water. I'm going out the water with a fade, yeah? Yeah. Sliding it off. Same shot, really. Can. Oh, that is perfect. Oh. I'm looking in. Just let everybody know. I'm going to be booking in for a massage this evening. <laughs> Back. Gone. Six holes in then. I think I'm level par because I've had a birdie. I chipped in and then I had a six on a par five. I just, I think bogey in par fives is one of the most frustrating things in golf. It's, it's as close to a three par for me. You could accept it if you hit a, a bad tee shot or lose your ball, but from the middle of the fairway where you were, yeah. Yeah, you'd be kicking yourself, wouldn't you? Yeah. But level par on a day today I'm actually it's it, like there's an inner battle going on here with me a massive inner battle of, of like slogging almost like trying to slog at it because I'm trying to get it get it as far up as I can now after our little chat but also trying to feel like you've got any sort of control of what's going on as well how good have your last three drives been fantastic absolutely fantastic and just having the confidence to commit to it is is the key and you know what it's like you said like, you can't do much about it. Once it's gone, it's gone off the face and you can't do much about it. So why fear it before you even hit the shot? Well, a lot of your followers will be able to relate to this. I played with an amateur last year, uh, par three, and uh, he was aiming way left yeah. off the tee. So, you know, I didn't want to jump in and say anything just because, you know, he's playing his own game. And uh, anyway, he hit a bullet pull and, uh, you know, sort of cursed himself. And I sort of asked him the question of what his thought process was there. And he said, well, there's a water hazard right. So he's aimed at 20 yards left of the green and he's actually made a really good swing. Yeah. The ball's gone out of bounds. So my question there is, yeah, okay, I appreciate there's a hazard right, but you've got to commit to hitting your good golf shot. If you hit a bad shot and it goes in the hazard, fine, but don't hit a good shot that goes out of bounds because you're playing- For you a know, miss, you're playing yes, for a miss. aim at the edge of the fairway yeah. or what have you, but he was aiming so far left of the green because he was afraid of the water on the right. Yeah. Therefore made a good swing and, you know, aim, in the spot and just commit to it. If it goes in a bad place, at least you've done it from, you know, trying to do the right thing. 130. I got 50. Just a little heavy. Fraction. Fractions, yeah. the game of fractions. 101 yards, exactly. Good, good pump with 58, I think. Come on, then. Come on. Yeah, Tough to get it all the way back there from that bunker, so it's left me a sort of 30 yard pitch up the green. Keep coming. Yeah, not bad, Jimbo. Shall I go? Uh, yeah, you can. Again. Again. Yep. Everything's been consistent. Go that way. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Eighth hole, beautiful par three, running down that lake that we had on the seventh there. Over the reeds, up onto the green, bunkers down the right hand side, and at the back of the green we've sort of like some mounding all the way around. About 190 to that flag today. Jimbo, what you got? I'm trying to hook a six iron in. Hooking a six? Yeah, you won't hear that statement of me very often. No. What's that carry, James, that thing? 190, normally. Yeah, you, are you back there? Yeah. Good strike, I just didn't have, the, uh, didn't have the minerals to aim it. I Middle got, of the green. I got three iron here, I don't, I don't think I can get a five iron there. Yeah, I kind of see, I almost, I almost see like I've, I've got it on the flag and then drifting it back into the green. Yeah. That's the feel. Oh, down. Not drifting right in. Oh, be the club, get down. I'm going to say that's going to be long, you flush that. Yeah, but it's a... Yeah, could be long. I was all over it. It was right over the pitch it, beyond right. the pin. <laughs> Did you hear that noise he made? What's that? The guy just hit his tee shot. I thought he was like, "Hey!" And then it just went in the water. Oh, really? One positive thing: I've got a putter in my hand. Uh, From this angle, it looks like once you go right of that hole, it's just going to go nuts. So yeah, I can see it down there. Yeah. Try and imagine you're going to leave it sort of a foot above the hole. I really like that. Steady now. Stay high. Steady high. now. Yeah, a great putt down. Yeah, lovely. Oh, then. Go on then. Another one that's left. The system. <laughs> I do have a pull tendency with the putt in. Good putt. Very good. Good pace. Yeah, solid. Take them. Right. We'll take two threes down there. All day. You'll take three and run for the next three. Absolutely three. right. Ninth hole. 430 meters this hole. Dog legs a little bit back from left to right. Bunkers hugging the left all the way up there towards the clubhouse. And again, another funky green when you get all the way up there. See that tower on the top of the hill? Yeah. Big one. I think that's absolutely perfect for you. And it slides yeah. from there. What, 305 for the track? Yeah. So. I don't know. I'll hit another one just in case. Got vision now. On the floor. Find one, you find the other. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. You take it to W tonight. Hey. Okay. One nine six three iron. He's gonna need a cuddle tonight. I got my. Three iron club. Oh, this is just it's gonna be tight. If I can get anywhere around the green, I'll be happy with this shot, to be honest. Go, go. Yeah, short of the trap, you're yeah. okay. I'll take it. Yeah, mate. Got 164, yeah. slight draft behind. I think nine struggling, so I'm just gonna try and hit sort of. Smooth eight in there. Like it. Right, little fifty eight. Pop it up and get it to stop it quickly on me. Got down. Steady. Yeah, lovely shot. in all the way I thought. Amazing, I can't see anything left in that at all. 
Well, judging by mine, I would hit yours right edge. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. But I, yeah. I'm reading it, I'm like, I can't No. See. Yeah, I wouldn't leave the hole. No, you're right, you're right. It's a funny, it's a funny part because I think it moves. I think I was on just that side of the shelf. That actually went left to right, I think. Yeah. Right, nine holes done. Scores on the doors? Uh, I'm plus two. You're plus two. I'm now plus one. Yeah. After that bogey there at the ninth. Um, I feel like I've been in a bit of a sweat all the way around. You seem very <laughs> calm and relaxed about everything. Yeah, just a tough day on the greens. I feel like I've, you know, hit it well. It's a brutal golf course, but yeah, I've driven it pretty well. Yeah, um, yeah just missed four times inside six feet. Did another day, did yeah. a couple under, and very happy with the round. Can we? I mean, it would be an amazing, amazing feat if we managed to get it done, but can we break par around this beautiful golf course? Good news for you, Dan. Oh, good, have you? Back nine's longer than the front nine. Excellent. <laughs>